Well, well. Now let's turn to Gamma for E. Yes, they're right here in the bag. Nylons by the dozen. Fantasies in cellophane. What puzzles British housewives is, why are there not more in the shops? They seek them here, they seek them there. But always they seem to end up on that pavement pitch where stocks are high, business is brisk, and life's only worry is taken care of by the lookout man. A dozen fellow travellers will have joined the crowds until traffic becomes normal again. Meanwhile, on a more orthodox sector of the nylon front, the many battle for the few. And here, not many miles from those patient queues, is the source of all the heartbreaks. A mill where fully fashioned nylons start their thread of life. 30 minutes for a single fully fashioned stocking, but only 18 when they're seamless. From this one great mill, each and every week, come enough nylons to glamorize the lives of 11,000 double-decker busloads of luxury staff women folk. In this workroom, 54 gauge is a measurement, not a headache. This inspection brings to light the snags, or drawn coarse threads. The rejects will go back for a pair, thence to the substandard market. A roll of transfers and a hot iron. Here, stockings are stamped according to their grades. Firsts, which are perfect. Seconds and prefs, only slightly less so. And substandards, repaired or re-dyed. Unknown to the outside world, a secret code number has also been added. It's part of a drive by manufacturers to prevent undercover disposal of the stockings after they leave the mill. Nothing but the brand markings can normally be seen, but watch what happens when the welt is soaked in a secret chemical solution. Thus science aids in detection. 910 provides a clue. Theft en route between warehouse and shop accounts for less than 10% of the nylons which go astray. Enough nylons are now being made to ensure at least two pairs a year for every woman in Britain. What percentage goes behind the counter is anybody's guess. In quiet back streets, queer things change hands. Along organized supply lines, come substandards and choicer grades whose case history is obscure. Some of the curbside offerings are perfect, but mostly they're substandards which would often prove cheaper at licensed stores. The manufacturers have played their part, now it's up to the women. The black market can be banished from Britain if they're all prepared to queue.